Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna change the oil on my Husqvarna riding lawnmower. I got this mower a couple years ago. It's gonna be my third season with it. First two seasons, I didn't change oil. Just checked it, make sure the levels were good. The Husqvarna. Husqvarna, the Husky, whatever they call it. YTH18542. Let's get started. So that's the oil filter you want to get. I got mine from Amazon. It's like eight or nine bucks. Eight or nine dollars. Four nine two nine three two S. So this is the oil it calls for. Went to Home Depot and got this SAE 30. You can see it says works with Briggs and Stratton, Kohler and other four cycle engines. I got four of them. I believe this uh, mower calls for two quarts. Um, you have to buy four of these. It's a little bit over two quarts. So they're about $4 a piece, I think. So before you start changing your oil, you're gonna have to take these two off. These two plastic pieces, there's one on this side. There's one on the other side, you can see it right there. It's pretty simple, you just gotta get you one of these tools right here. I got these from Harbor Freight. It's for like taking uh, panels off inside the car's interior. And there's a little clip right there. If you get up under here, this piece here slides up comes off so to open this up you want to take this little cap off here and you want to turn it counterclockwise you can see the uh, and then you want to pull out so I didn't have the hose that comes with the uh, more it's a little clear hose that fits right on there perfectly so I just had this piece of extra hose and you can see the oil dripping out right there so you got a small little bit coming out so that's good enough I'm just gonna take this hose off now and close that seal that back up pretty easy just turn it back push it in turn it back you can see you push it in you turn it it locks it Next, you want to take off that filter right there. First, you want to take your wheels and turn them all the way to the right. You want to stick your pin under here. Got it. So now that I got it off with my wrench, I'll just loosen it all the way up. Oil's gonna drip down, so make sure you got that oil pan down there. So some video that I've seen on these frames, I guess on the older model, this one I've only had a couple years. So I think the, the older ones had the frame come out to about here. And so it made a big old mess, bigger mess. These newer ones, Looks like uh, Husqvarna uh, took that into consideration when they made the new ones. And uh, it's not so bad. You can see it doesn't go all the way back to the back. So there's the old one right there. Just wanna compare, same size, so we're good to go. Let's put this other one on. Get yourself a little bit of oil from the pan on your finger, just like that. You wanna make sure you just get it on the, on the seal. Lubricate that seal a little bit. Then you just,
You don't need them too tight. About as tight as you can go with your hand, that's about it. <clears throat> so now that you're in here, you wanna make sure you clean off some of this stuff. Gunk that's on here already. This stuff's on here from last year. Get your everything clean, the oil that just spilled. So on the filter side, I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so now we got all the oil drained out and everything put back on the filter and the plug. Let me get your little funnel and you wanna put, want put the oil back in. So we're about to put two quarts in here. Um, got these little funnels at Harbor Freight. Four piece set, little tiny one, and I think this is the biggest one, like 99 cents. All right, so for the oil, it's about 64 fluid ounces uh, for two quarts, which is what this mower needs. You got 18 ounce bottles. So total here for you got 74. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off the sides here. That gives how many fluid ounces. And I'm gonna keep, empty all of them out except for one. Uh, I should have 10 fluid ounces left in one. That'll be two quarts. And on Google, you can look up um, how many ounces, fluid ounces are in a quart. Uh, so I'll show you that right now. There you go. Three of these. Ten fluid ounces left in one of them so on these bottles you got the big numbers and the little numbers big numbers are for the milliliters little numbers are for the fluid ounces so I'm gonna make sure it's on 10 when I'm done pouring this bottle let's pour some I want to set it on a flat surface so let's set it down here you can see it right there at 13 so I'm gonna pour a little bit more <clears throat> and we're on about 11 and a half a little bit more a little bit too much so we're probably over a little bit but it should be okay get some oil in that filter so after you're done you want to take off the funnel put your dipstick back in make sure it's locked in you want to start it up start it up So after you let it run for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, I guess, just for the oil to get in everything into the filter and all that, turn it off. Get your dipstick, check your oil levels. We're at a good level right there. It's a little bit over, but it, the motor was just on, so we're good to go. You gotta put these back on. There's these tabs here. See that tab and that tab? Going to two holes right here. Just slide them on in there. And you wanna press down. They go in just like you take them all. And you get your little clip. Put it right in this hole here. Where's it at? Right there. Push it on in there. It snaps right in. Yo, yo, yo. I hope you guys love the video. Share it, subscribe. I hope it helped you. Uh, maybe you had some questions. Hope I answered them. Anyways, this is my shed right here, guys. I'm getting ready to set it up. 
to hopefully do some videos in here um go over some tools that i got you can see some in the background right there share subscribe do what you got to do click the bell peace